So the way to look for body contacts is similar to the way that you look for um, contacts with a alligator clip, except you don't use an alligator clip, you use um, your body or a piece of metal. I'll show you how. One kind of easy way to kind of find an area where a body contact might be is what's called the lick and press method, which means you lick your finger, right? So now I have a little bit of moisture to help conduct electricity. I'm going to press a button and just press your finger somewhere on the circuit board and wait to hear an interesting effect. There you go. Hear that? It's kind of a space gun sound there. Okay, that's just my finger making that connection. You know, a little bit of moisture on my finger to help conduct the electricity. So what I can do now, let me turn this off. So I found that you know, potential body contact bend through the lick and press method. Lick my finger, kind of pressed on the circuit board. You know, you have to kind of narrow it down to which two contacts are responsible for that effect. But now we can solder a wire to each of them and then solder each of those wires to something made out of metal, something different, mount them on the outside of the, um, of the project, and then you have something kind of like this where you have body contacts on the outside and simply by pressing them, you are affecting the sound that the, uh, that the little device is making.